unbelievable. I just have to share this with you. I cannot believe what we've had to go through uh, in the last month here. Uh, another, again, unique experience that's so opposite of the USA, and maybe even in a lot of countries, I'm not sure. But we were trying to open up a bank account. Again, I'm, you would think that would be easy. I'm giving you my money. How could you possibly be rejected? How could you possibly be denied opening an account? So we tried three banks here in Mexico. And three times, we were rejected. We did not qualify. For one thing, you have to have an electric bill in your name. So it means we didn't have one yet. That disqualifies you almost in any bank in Mexico. You must have a utility with your name. Again, why? If I was getting a loan, I would understand. If I was getting a loan for the home we were buying, that makes perfect sense. I'm simply trying to put 200 US dollars in their account. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. Why is it so hard. Uh, so, here you can't do it online, not even an option. So, we had friends first time uh, who've been here, they live here, and they also live in the U.S., and they did decide to retire back here, and they're in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And they knew the representatives. They called them up and gave a good word. Uh, we could use their phone number. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. Oh, my gosh. If you don't have a line phone physically attached to a line to a plug in a wall with a bill from there, again, almost impossible to get a bank account. And I'm like, who has a phone line anymore? We all use cellular phones. Why would you want that? I canceled my phone in the U.S. probably, gosh, what, 10 years ago? I mean, when phones were coming in, they finally got to a reasonable price where they were less than the monthly phone bill. Why would I have a phone line? So that was uh, denied as well. Um, but uh, we went there. You had to set up an appointment. So that was like two weeks out. We went to the appointment, my wife and I, and you have to bring all kinds of forms, all kinds of documents again to prove I am who I am. How do you get a bank account in the USA? For the most part, you just go online, type in your names, open account, give a password, transfer money from one point to another. Boom, you got an account. Now, you may not have a credit card, you may not be able to get a car loan or a house loan, but you have an account. It's done in a matter of minutes, maybe 24 hours, it's approved. My own kids, before they were even 18, got accounts. Of course, I was attached to it, but easy. Anyone can get a bank account if you want one. Uh, you may have to pay some fees, uh, but for the most part, you can get them all for free, and there's so many online app type bank accounts now that you could do where you're investing. It gives you so many benefits, uh, but not here. Completely different here. So we went there and uh, you had to wait. I think it was like 45 minutes, the first bank, uh, even though you have an appointment, uh, they're running behind and you will learn very quickly. You do not want to go to a bank in Mexico. The lines go out the door almost every day. Uh, ATMs are backed up usually. 
Um, and you know, the best tip I can give you for needing cash in uh, Mexico is your get a Schwab account. Open up a bank account with Schwab. You can pull out of any ATM machine anywhere in the world and they credit you any fees that they charge you uh, for that actual pulling out of the money. So that's amazing. So anyway, so we get in there, we finally sit down with the interview and I, I that was like another 40 minutes of questions filling out forms, signing documents. And our friends were with us. They vouched for us. And uh, no answer then. No, we had to leave. They said, they'll get back to us in anywhere from 10, 12 days. So you go home, you wait. They actually came to the place we were renting and they took photographs of where we were staying. Can you believe that? photographs of your casa, your home. What difference does it make? Uh, so frustrating with some things. So again, they finally got back to us and they just left us. Maybe we didn't catch the phone in time. Said we were denied. Couldn't get a bank account. So we had to make appointments at a couple of other banks and wait in line. Fill out all the paperwork repeating all the processes, denied and denied. Finally, final bank, uh, we went in there again, waiting in line, getting in there. And then these are all with appointments. Um, so you get in there and they said they'd have to do background checks and everything, you know, all the things they can do. And again, they sent out, took photographs of our place, photographs of our passports or documents. And hallelujah, we got the bank account approved. And we had to put in uh, 200 minimum US dollars, uh, not dollars really, but you know, converted to pesos. But uh, so that was great. We thought, great, you know, we, we didn't really need it. You can live here without a bank account. And I, that's probably what I would just recommend. It's just not worth the effort. Um, so we got that. Then you start learning how complicated it is to get your money out of that bank. So we get our little card for the ATM. We're all excited. So you can walk down and you can put it in and that's not too bad to pull the money out. But if you're wanting to pay something online, because that's what they told us, that was the whole reason I needed it, was to pay my cellular bill, because you can't do that with an American credit card. That's the whole reason I got the bank account. And I was going to just do it online. You know how simple it is in the USA. You log in and you just pay it. But you don't even have to do that. You just give them your credit card number or your bank account automatically pulls out every month, one day before, two days, whatever you set it up. You never, ever think about it again. You just get a little text from your, you know, like T-Mobile's who I have. They just send me a text, your bill's due tomorrow. And then tomorrow it comes out of my bank account, my credit card. Done. Easy peasy. I don't ever think about it. And I've been doing that for probably 15, 20 years. And then here, it, they don't even tell you. You just get a notice. You don't even get a notice that's cut off now that I think about it, because this happened several times. We, we put a notification on our phone the 20th of every month, because it changes every single month, depending on what day you put it in. Is it a weekend? So you, you got to hit that day. If you miss that day and hour, your phone's cut off, just done. So then you gotta go back online and try to pay it uh, online. So, you know, we were using the bank for that. But you have to do, I think it was called double authentication. And they have, uh, gosh, can you think of the other name? You know, they have certain terms for everything here. Online, you know, you might get something where it says verify it's you. They send you an email and then you click on it. Boom, you're in your bank. You're in the account. You're able to pay. Here, 
we have to use a laptop computer and a cellular phone. And then you send a, I think it's dual authentication is what they called it. Someone can write it in below. I can't remember off the top of my head. But they communicate with each other. So it's like a 16 digit number. It's insane that comes across. And you have about a minute to transfer that information, re-log in through the other device you're using to prove it's me, which, you know, I guess that's great. It's almost impossible probably to try to take that money out of the bank account because uh, you have to do this every time. And several times I was in there, you only have like four to six minutes from start to finish. If you miss that time, they just cut you off and you can't pre-log in for 24 hours. So if you're paying your phone the day before, you don't get those numbers approved and back and forth quick enough, then you can't go back in for 24 hours and then your phone's cut off. Then you're really screwed because then you can't use the bank account at all because you got to log in with a double authentication. So then we're back to nothing. So we ended up just closing the account out. It just, the frustration is just unreal. And you have to make an appointment, have to go in, wait in line to pull your money out and close the account. <laughs> you just have to laugh at these experiences. Again, I don't know if anyone's really discussed this, so I wanted to make sure I put banking is a worth it video out here. Um, so to me, it's not worth it, so especially for us. It just, it just isn't even a consideration. So with that, please like and subscribe. Follow along with us, our journey here in uh, Mexico. Uh, what's it like, uh, you know, for banking and the utilities? Uh, so challenging. And I'm giving you my money. You know, again, as a business owner before in my past life, I would do anything to make it simple, easy to give me your cash. That's a no-brainer. I then <laughs> easy. So like and subscribe, follow along. We love our listeners, love the comments, love hearing from you, and continue to watch our journeys. Because soon, Joanne and I are going to have to make some big life decisions. What are we going to do next? So follow along to see what we decide. Adios. Ciao.